Okay, we're going to do another one with the graph, and all these problems will always ask you for the same information, vertex, focus, directrix, and your focal width. Again, we see that there is no parentheses around the x or the y, so I know for sure it's going to be, the vertex is going to have to be at 0, 0. So that's the first thing we can get from the formula itself. Next thing we can find is the focal width. That's the absolute value of the number in front of the non-squared variable. So the absolute value of negative 4 is going to be positive 4. So those two pieces of information you can always get right away without looking at the graph. So now we need to do the graph and I'm going to indicate this information directly from the graph itself. I want to look at my four models. So again, the, the link uh, to those models and my net lecture notes is in the description of this video. So if you can click on that, that'll take you over to these different models. We look at the four models that are in the notes and we try and match it up with uh, what this one looks like. And the one that it matches up with is this one, x squared equals negative 4ay, okay? Uh, again, we match it up the x squared, we match up the y. We want to pick the one with a negative because there's a negative actually in the formula itself. That's how you know which one to use. Now based on the pictures, this is actually a parabola that opens down. X, if x squared comes first, it opens either up or down. The negative means it opens down there. The focus is going to be inside of the parabola and you have your directrix is always going to run behind it like that. So now this is our basic picture. We need to know how far up and down to go, so that's why we got to find the A value. Everything matches, so now we're going to take this whole part, we're going to use negative 4A and set it equal to negative 4. So we, we usually, the way this is going to work is, uh, if this number in the original formula is negative, you set it equal to negative 4A. If it's positive, you'll set it to positive 4A. Your A should always be positive no matter what. Divide both sides by negative 4, your A value is going to equal 1. Now that we have this, we're going to go ahead and do the graph now. The vertex is always the one that you want to start with. We'll start that at 0, 0. The A value is 1. Now if I look at this picture, the way the model is, here's my, my vertex is right there. The model says i got to go down 1 to get the focus and go up 1 to get the directrix. Okay, my A value is 1 here. So I'm going to go down 1, make a dot right there. That's my focus. I'm going to go up 1 and this is my directrix. So I can read this information and put that directly in here. My focus is going to be at 0, negative 1. Just reading it off the graph itself. No formula is needed here. Now this, if you have a horizontal line, that starts with y equals. Vertical lines are always x equals. Horizontal lines are always y equals. Crosses the y-axis at 1. So that's going to be my directrix. y equals 1 there. So now I've answered all the information. The only thing I have to do now is actually finish the graph itself, and that's where we're going to use the focal width. At the fo focus, which is right here, that width has got to be 4. So if here, I'm going to go, if I divide that by 2, I get 2 in each direction. So I do go 2 to the right, make a dot, go 2 to the left, make a dot, and therefore now my graph itself is going to open down uh, just like that and it matches the model, so this would be your final graph.